San Luis Obispo County is on its way to reopening, but the county's framework differs from the governor's. Let's go live now to News Channel reporter Dave Alley in San Luis Obispo for the very latest on the reopening plans. Frustration today. You know, Beth, just days ago, San Luis Obispo County publicly unveiled plans for the start guide. As we've seen, that's the framework for the planned phased reopening of the county's economy. And ever since then, there's been a lot of hope and optimism that that guide would be given the go ahead. But today, dejected county leaders say that is simply not going to happen, at least for the time being. Today, at the county's press conference, administrative officer Wade Horton, along with public health officer, Dr. Penny Borenstein openly announcing their frustration with the governor's decision to deny San Luis Obispo County local control. That means the brakes have been put hard on the start guide. Slow County was hoping to open up certain places of business like dining and restaurants, personal uh, care salons, barbershop, and other places. However, under the governor's resilience roadmap, that's not going to happen right now. In response, San Luis Obispo County has already filed an official attestation. That's a process asking the governor to give it local authority. The Board of Supervisors met in an emergency session today and approved that document. So as the county waits further guidance on that, they're unhappy that more businesses will not be opening as planned. I want to note that I am disappointed by this outcome. We had great hope alongside of you that we would be moving forward to reopen more of our workspaces and community spaces. The governor's roadmap is still being updated, but based on what is published, it will be a longer path to reopening and it will delay the reopening of certain businesses along different timelines. Now, the attestation is a statement by the health officer indicating the county meets all the governor's criteria for moving into a further stage uh, faster than other jurisdictions. Now, one of those criteria factors, San Luis Obispo County does not meet. That's the number of cases over a 14-day period. Dr. Bornstein is asking uh, that that criteria be further discussed with the state because she believes the county meets the criteria in spirit, but uh, not in the exact wording in its purest form. She does believe she is the first public health officer in the state to file an official attestation. Now, when the county may have an official response from the state right now is unknown. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo County, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley. Back to you, Beth. All right. Thank you so much for the update, Dave.